Welcome guys, in this video, I will show you top 10 tips and tricks that you need to know as a PUBG player. And also we will be testing these new attachments that are only available on the event motor ignition mode. Starting with the first one, currently tech center is a huge hot drop, most people will land here, so let me show you a secret trick to surprise your enemies example like this. In order to reach to that place, you will need to jump like this, and somehow magically you will stand here, without falling down, maybe there is an invisible wall I guess. Make sure to switch to first person view otherwise your character will block all the view, and wait for your enemies to fall into your trap, your opponents will never expect you to be here. And your enemies won't be able to spot you in that position, so you're completely safe. This also works when the enemies are on the rooftop, you could catch them by surprise, I mean this is very unexpected place. Moving on to the next one, many of you asked me to compare compensator versus muzzle brake, it's a new attachment that is only available on the event mode, so I already tested it with AKM and ASM Abacan, and if you look closely at these sprays, you can clearly see that the new attachment muzzle brake will provide you a much better recoil reduction than the compensator, so there is absolutely no doubt that the muzzle brake is better than the compensator, but let's do the same test with SMGs, here is the UMP's recoil pattern or spray pattern, without using any attachments. And now UMP with a flash hider's recoil spray, flash hider slightly reduces recoil, not by a lot since its main purpose is to remove the muzzle flash while firing. And now with compensator, the compensator reduces the recoil by up to 10% or more, and we all know it's the best muzzle attachment for normal classic games, but the new muzzle brake attachment actually does slightly better job on reducing recoil than the compensator, so obviously the new attachment muzzle brake is better than compensator even for SMGs, so similarly it should be better for DMR sniper rifles. And now to the ergonomic grip, it significantly improves the stability of the firearms, so how well it does against other grips, let's find out. So this is the recoil pattern of UMP with a vertical grip, and now with the angled grip, by the way the angled grip doesn't change the vertical recoil, it only reduces the horizontal recoil of the weapon, whereas the ergonomic grip does both, reduces the vertical recoil as well as horizontal recoil, which makes the ergonomic grip the best among the other grips. In the mission ignition mode you can use shields to protect yourself from gunshots, so if you want to destroy that shield it's gonna take hundreds of bullets to do that. So let me show you the best way to break the shield, you need to jump and punch the shield, it will take 10 punches to break the shield completely and 20 punches normally. Why am I telling you how to break the shield? Well right now the apartment campers are blocking off the door by placing a shield in its way and waiting for you to break the shield in a corner like this. So if you decided to shoot the shield it's gonna take more than 100 bullets to do and it's waste of ammo. Instead, throw a smoke and start punching the shield and once you break it, go kill them. And there is another way to attack the tech center apartment campers is by using an air conveyor. There are two air conveyor locations next to tech center and its apartments, just use them and fly straight up and now land on top of the apartment and surprise attack the rooftop campers. And the next tip is for crossing the bridge, whenever you land on military base or security center and you don't have zone and you have to cross the bridge, but there might be some bridge campers, so to avoid them, you need to travel through air conveyor, there are two air conveyor located in military base island, one is behind Nova, and another over here. So use this to cross to bridge, or if you wanna kill the bridge campers in an unexpected way, this also works for the other bridge as well, you need to land very carefully, while landing on top of the bridge, and find the bridge campers, and you can either kill them, or troll them, if you got a VSS. And the next tip is about Teslas, so you can only find 4 Teslas in a single game, and they are located in the Tesla factory or Gigafactory, so most people would land here at these Gigafactories it's gonna be chaos over here, so if you don't want to land here, and you still want to get Tesla in the middle of the game, or in mid game, you will need to open your map and check if there are any Teslas in the Gigafactory. When someone takes a Tesla from the Gigafactory, the factory icon in your map will stop glowing as shown here, so you won't get Tesla from that Gigafactory, you'll need to find other one which glows like this. In order to make Tesla you'll need to activate three switches, the first is located right here, so go activate it. 
And then the next one is located in a room secretly here. And the last one is located next to Tesla logo on top. Once you activate it, the Gigafactory will start making Tesla in 30 seconds, by the way you'll get a supply crate behind Tesla, it has good loot. And lastly in the tech center, you will find a locked door, and there is loot inside, to enter inside, you will need to shoot at the door's lock, and it will break, after shooting 30 bullets and you can loot here. Anyway, that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you did hit the like button, and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, and see you guys in the next one, enjoy my bot gameplay.